fellow Cinecities, my name is Christina and welcome to another Let's Get Reels movie review. Today is my segment I like to call What's on Netflix, where I tell you what is on Netflix that maybe has a low rating, maybe you've never heard of, and just tell you what they're about and what you should go and watch next. The movie I am reviewing for this week's What's on Netflix is called Cake and it is from I believe 2014, 2013, and uh, it stars Jennifer Aniston and and a whole bunch of other people including Anna Kendrick and Anna Kendrick is actually the reason why I even heard of Cake and why I even decided to sit through this movie. Cake is actually a really dark depressing story. Um, it's about this woman named Claire Bennett played by Jennifer Aniston. She starts off the movie in this group for people who or women who suffer from chronic pain. Um, as you find out later she was in a really bad accident and she's all scarred around her face you can see that she can't really walk right she can't really sit upright it's very painful for her to move in any sort of way and she's also suffering from loss as well so she's become very hard very cynical not a really great person to be around and she just she pops pain pills all the time. I mean, it even got to a point in the movie where she wasn't getting the amount for her prescription that she wanted. So she went down to Mexico with her, I guess like her nurse or, or aide or house cleaner, whatever she can be considered her help in this movie. And they get prescription pills and they sneak it back into uh, the US through a religious statue. She also becomes obsessed with the loss or the suicide of this one one woman who was in her support group named Nina Collins played by the lovely Anna Kendrick and Claire actually starts like going to see Nina's husband who's played by Sam Worthington and she goes and talks to people like where Claire had jumped she jumped off a bridge of the freeway and all these certain things and then because of her pain and because of the drugs Claire starts like hallucinating or imagining that she sees Nina and she just starts talking to Nina and Claire starts thinking of suicide just like Nina because the pain is just so intense and she tries it quite a few times but isn't very successful. Um, she tries drowning herself in a pool, she tries uh, laying down on railroad tracks, doesn't do that. She tries um, overdosing on pills, that doesn't work very well. And uh, finally at the end she just kind of comes to a peace of mind um, and the, the whole time in the car when she's in the car she has to lay down because her pain is just so bad that she can't really sit up in the car and at the end I kind of expected this but at the very end it is Claire moving her seat up and sitting up so it's like okay step one or step two depending on how you look at it once you watch the movie it's like time to sit up in the car I didn't know what to expect of Cake. I had only heard of it, as I said, because of Anna Kendrick, and I adore that girl so, so very much, and I will watch anything that she's in. And when I saw it was about this woman going through chronic pain and like just being, I don't wanna say crazy, but like just not right, not mentally right, uh, just suffering. I was like, whoa, okay, and it was just very, very dark, this story, very twisted. Claire is not somebody you can really, like, you know, have sympathy for. Like, you do in a certain way because her story is tragic, you feel bad that she's in so much pain, but at the same time, you're like, bitch, just come on and stop being so nasty. Work through your problems, work through your heart, your, your heartache. And I mean, I hate to say it to sound like that, especially because if you have seen the movie, the heartache that she goes through is so immense. And you know, that's nothing to rush through, but she just wasn't helping herself. So you want her to really help herself and not be the way she is. And that's kind of frustrating for me watching this and like seeing her lie and seeing her, you know, just not be, a very nice person. I mean, she has a lot to be angry about. She has a lot to be cranky about, but it just, it's like a double-edged thing for me with this movie and the character of Claire Bennett. Like, I, I understand it and at the same time, like, move forward. But that's just my thinking. And I, I don't want any of you to think that I'm being too harsh against people who are actually like this. I completely understand. So, you know, 
I see both sides and I don't want anybody to think that I'm cruel and would be like, oh, just move on. No, you can't, you know, it's like, she's in mental pain, she's in physical pain. That's not something you move on with very quickly. Jennifer Aniston is not an actress I'm particularly fond of. Um, I think she's okay. Uh, I wasn't really into Friends when it was on. I've never really seen her in too many other movies. I just, I'm not crazy about her as an actress. In this movie, she was really, really good. Um, she was better than what else I have seen her in over the years. Um, she was supposed to be up for all kinds of Golden Globes, I think, and I mean, it was different. It was a different role, but is she like, you know, Golden Globes Academy Award winning or nomination material? No, not for this role in particular. I mean, that's, again, my opinion. Um, it, it was just something different for her, and it was something for her to be serious and not be, you know, in like a comedic role. So I give her credit for that. She did a very good job. She's very convincing. But I think Jennifer Aniston to me is is an actress. I can't watch her as her character. She's just Jennifer Aniston to me, and you know it kind of takes away from her characters a little bit. And I just can't like really get into them as much as you need to be invested in the characters or anything because it's just she's just Jennifer Aniston to me. And a Kendrick on the other hand, I'm gonna probably sound like totally biased, but Anna Kendrick is just awesome. I really didn't buy her as a mother because in the movie she was married and she has a kid and but she's just so good she's so good in everything and she's such a badass and I liked how she was the one to come back and torment Jennifer Aniston a little bit because she just has that kind of like wicked side to her in some of her roles um, I just finished her book not that long ago and she is absolutely hysterical and you can definitely see she's got a really wicked like funny side but really like sly almost like cruel side I'm not gonna I don't know if I should say cruel but it's like you know that hardness to her and she's just very cynical that's the word I'm looking for a very cynical side and she was perfect as Nina I think she was a very good choice I would have liked to have seen her more in this movie because I was expecting her to be in it more but what she, the scenes that she was in, I absolutely adored her. She was great. So that was my review slash definite rambling of the movie Cake. If you like this review in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below if you have seen Cake. Um, let's just, you know, discuss anything you want. Leave your comments there. And also in the comments, if you have any suggestions or requests of what type of movies I should watch, either old or new, leave them there. And if I pick your movie and I watch it and I review it, I will give you a shout out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for future Let's Get Real movie reviews and what's on Netflix reviews. And as always, keep watching movies and stay absolutely fabulous.